What is up, boys? Welcome back to some more Wolf Among Us. We're gonna dive in. Larissa was waiting for us. Let's see what happens, boys. This is episode four. We're pretty close to finishing this whole thing off. Two more episodes, this one and the next one. Then it's done. I wanna see how it, like, ends. What is gonna be the verdict? Oh, well bad. Okay. Wolf Among Us, episode four. We get right into the action. Oh, I was trying to hoping we could we could see that. But... Here we go, boys. Episode four. I can't remember what it's called. Let's find out. In sheep's clothing. Okay, so yeah, we got this episode, and then the next one, and then it's done. Hi, so, let's see. Sheriff. What's going on? Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. Okay. I am very intrigued. She obviously knows something. I, um, are you okay? No. <laughs> didn't look good last night. Uh, I've been better. Let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Probably hear that all the time. Maybe we like Huff and puffs. Jesus. Um. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell yeah, me. Yeah, 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 she did, me she did. open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Mm -hmm. Go ahead. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. I don't get why she won't just tell us. something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. God damn it. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. That's nice true. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. Hmm. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now... They're gone. And I don't know what to do. Um. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying oh, no. is friends I thought that's what gonna say. And I... I don't have any left. Oh, man. That's rough. So I hope you're looking after yours. Hmm. Are my friends in Who danger? Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? I'm sorry. These lips are sealed. Yeah, we this. get it. I need you to know I want to help, but. But. Your lips are sealed. Your lips are sealed. I'm so confused what she meant by all that. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Huh? It was... It is beautiful. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Yep. I don't know how that works. Why can't she say anything because of the fucking ribbon, bro? I'm so confused. Uh, 
Um, that that's a spell, spell. Crane talked okay. about. Is there any way to break it? Is there something I can do about it? No, 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 no. no. Okay. What? You can't. <laughs> oh, Just excuse me. Back. Jesus. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not going to do anything. Please, don't. <sighs> okay, I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. Um, let's cut the... Here. Don't worry about it. That's probably snow. Even if it isn't, like, Listen, who the fuck? Sheriff, can you keep this conversation between us? Um, I don't I really know. A lot of trouble. I won't tell anyone. Don't worry. Thank you. I don't really know what the conversation was. Do you know? Oh, she's just seen him hold hands, bro. She's gonna be pissed. I think she actually likes Big B, so it's a little bit awkward. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Okay. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank hmm. you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. She's trying to give I us hints. I don't think you'll be wasting time. She's trying to give time. us hints, boys. Wait, you don't have to go. Hints, boys, hints. That was... abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Um... Did you get anything from her? Yeah, she told she me enough. Told I don't really want to tell her. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on? Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the Crooked Man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Okay. Well, and you didn't want to tell me what you were into. For either. good reason. Look what happened. Is this that a gaff? Back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have okay, to well. agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? That's what I wanted to do anyway. <laughs> My bad. Fucking arguing all the time, bro. Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? What's this about? You called, right? Or, uh, was it Beast? One I of them. didn't call you. Listen, I've had a shitty night. Well, you're not the only one. And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. If someone called, it must have been Beast. I certainly didn't. Okay, I... You know, if you had just kept your mouth shut about me... Beast wouldn't have lost his head over at the open arms. Oh well. He never would have even found the place. And I wouldn't have had to spend the night defending myself or keeping secrets with Bigby Wolf. I lost my job because of you. I needed that. No, that's your problem. Don't Who's be so there? secretive, bro. Beauty? Um. If you don't want to talk, can you just get Beast for me? Yeah. I don't know. Talking has a way of escalating with you. Does it? Escalating with your fucking boyfriend, bro. Not me. Big B's here. Hi, Big B. It's good, brother. Can you give us a minute? A word in private? I think that's a good idea. What's up, brother? Hmm. I 
Yes, I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. <laughs> Let's not make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? Do we really need to bring Bigby into this? We talked about it already. But I, I just don't think he's going to improve our situation. Mm. Well, that's talk about living in the past. <laughs> I know you're going to disagree, but if he can't keep a little secret, how can we trust him with this? I trust him. Well, of course you do. There's a teapot. Well, <laughs> not just that. Trouble follows him around. We're out of money and we're up against the wall here, okay? So can we finish this later? Now that Bigby's here, let's just... Fine. Go on. Okay. Here we go. Sorry. We've had a long night. Yeah. What's that you always say? Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What's that supposed to mean? Beauty! What? It's a fair question. It's nice. Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Just be kind. Oh, well, thanks. But that's not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? That's part of it, but... We can't bring him into this. He's just going to make things worse. He always does. Well, he's here Damn. now. So it's let's see mean. what he can do. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. Just answer me this first. What if we did have some information on the crooked man? If we talk, we're putting ourselves at risk. Yeah, they are. Um, Do you protect us? I've seen what happens when you cross him. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. Yeah. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We're, we're not. And just tell me what's going on here. You get used to a certain way of doing things, and sometimes it just gets away from you. I just wanted to give Beauty the kind of life she deserves. You understand yeah. that, don't you? And there's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Who's that? Who's on the phone, boy? So we're gonna answer that, or...? Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Maybe I should... A day at the beach? Hey, the I'm not done yet. <laughs> I don't know we is. can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as <laughs> <laughs> humanly possible. That's so cringe. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. Who's so that? consider yourselves out of warning. Time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. What the hell did you get yourselves into? The Who's crooked that? man's gonna get his, one way or another. Shit. Okay, so something to do with the crooked man. You know that much. Who's the guy with the phone? Though? All I care about is how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. Oh, is it? I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. Jersey? So, when I needed money. Wait, who the fuck is Jersey? With? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh, oh yeah. That slimy prick. <laughs> I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. Yeah, I need to cut my off the other night. he's hit a um, times too. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off. <laughs> Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the crooked man there, maybe 
I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... Where else are we supposed to go then, bro? Fuck. You know that butcher shop? The cut above? You're right. It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Okay. Looks like we'll do well, anything. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. Ah. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. What well, delivering? what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. Okay. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. Hmm. She said I was reliable. She liked that. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's okay. Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. <laughs> yeah. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there... I need to look into it. Yeah, we do. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. Um... I don't need to. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. Yeah, my no, job is to keep Fable Town safe. Yeah. So fuck out of here. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Well, you're not going to. So see you later. Lucky Paul or the butcher shop? I don't know. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I feel like we go you to know that butcher shop, the cut above. The thing is, we're going to Lucky Pawn. I'm going to the Lucky Pawn. There's too much going on there to ignore. I think that's the best I'll place. I'll have a to word go. or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby. Once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Well, it's go time, Wait, fellas. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but Bust is him there up. any way you could help us out? Such as? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. Is he asking we us to kill him? really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? No, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. What were you on about him? We know that the crooked man is dangerous. To all I of them. I hate these two. They piss me off. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm uh. sure you'll do the right thing. Well, lucky pony me out. It's dirty. Rolled up. Oh, it's note. It looks oh. like you slept in it. <laughs> in a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. <laughs> Ugh, really? Whoa. Bigby's here. Ugh. Why are you never glamour toad? Why is it so hard to just follow the rules? Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again, like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, all right? And anyways, I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? <laughs> so? And it'd be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem. Yeah, yeah. Can we, you know, move this along? 
I'm trying to, but this lousy git can't see a good deal even when it walks in on two little legs. So what's it gonna be? I don't think he's gonna type. I don't code. know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a code. I, I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking hey, much, muscle, the right? witches set their own prices, Toad, and the prices aren't set because of greed. Making a glamour is hard. And the materials are rare. Spare me the lesson of new do economics. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Okay. Don't, I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not going to take an ass hair coat. <laughs> oh, I guess it shouldn't be, since this old bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Oh, Excite toast. on the own lays, okay, Og Frey? I mean, what kind um, of a game are you running here? Toad? You turned out people's yeah. stuff so you can peddle his shit. Funny you should mention that, because it's exactly why I'm here. <laughs> you want a loan? I yeah. didn't really... Think you the type? Yeah, I do. So give me one. You know, um, I'm sorry, Bigby, but I really shouldn't be talking about this with you. You know, this is a fucking crooked man place, right? Toad. He uses Hunter. fancy boys like Jack here to squelch the honest businessman, force him to lay on credit into servitude. High interest isn't servitude, and nobody's complained before. Toad, listen. Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off. Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Hey, I'll Toad. Look, I'll, I'll give you some money, all right? You've got to be kidding me. Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've, I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. Oh, bro, she's trying to help. Come on, man. If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? <laughs> you know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man, who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Damn. Either way, I'm getting screwed. Drop by any time. We're nothing like him. And off really he goes. Grows on you. That's for you, you little fuck. Give me a loan. Came to gloat? Since you had to go and tell on me, I got eight weeks work detail from Snow. She has me fixing leaky pipes. Like I even know what a C-clamp is. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. Last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So, From here. So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Yeah, right. Is this you liar. really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? Um. Because I don't know anything about it. Yeah, it's why I came down here. It'll lead me right to the crooked man if I can track it. He's been sending people to kill me. And I'd like to have a little chat about that. Was the axe here? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I think I'd notice a giant mystical axe. Would and that's you? saying something. Since, um, you know, I can sometimes miss the obvious. I'm just joking. Okay, it's just I never it. miss anything. Beauty told me the axe was here. She told me about a lot of things. Look, people get desperate, and when you're drowning, anything that isn't sinking along with you looks like a life raft. The hmm. crooked man gives, and he wants things in return. And when you don't pay up, bad stuff happens. Why do you think I've never taken one? A little credit card fraud never hurt anybody. Where's the manager? Why isn't he here? Maybe I'm the manager. You ever think yeah, of that? Right. I know you aren't. So where is he? I don't know. I don't keep tabs on him. He's probably out getting shit-faced and eating cows right now. Huh. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so... Uh, yeah, strange that. It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run at odd hours. Where is that little and fucker? Really, he'd be the one to talk to, so can't you just swing by later? No. It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in, so uh... I want to check stuff out here first. If this is a crooked man place, maybe something here will help me find him. Can't you Shut just... up, Jack. If the Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions, it also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around, as long as I've got the elbow room. 
Can I All right. It? Don't let me get in your way. I won't. <laughs> He's like, yeah, that's not gonna happen. This is Prince Lawrence's dagger. Wait, who wait. sold this? I don't know. Look, are you almost done? A dagger isn't exactly the axe. He died, so, didn't he? Uh, who would have done that? One of the Tweedles? Whoever did it must have needed the money bad, which shouldn't come as a total shock. You don't know how hard most of us have it, do you? Um, yeah. If you had my job, you wouldn't get out of bed. It was a rhetorical question, but sure, fine. Hmm. Just a few shitty things. Got a headless horseman here. The headless horseman? Isn't this Cranes? Maybe. I don't know. Didn't he steal it? Okay. Maybe not. That looks interesting. What is that? Hey, look with your eyes, not your hands, okay? Hmm. <laughs> She's staring at it for, bro. I ain't gonna move. What's wrong with him? Pink cushion. Reminds me of Briar Rose. You're not touching anything, are you? Nope. Oh, okay then. Not yet, anyway. I think there's anything else here that's gonna kind of help us. Just shit, you know? Clutter. Yeah, nothing here that's really gonna help us out. Is there anything else laying around we can interact with? Can I go through the back? There's nothing else you're forgetting to tell me. No. Just please don't break anything, alright? Yeah, no promise. Um, where's that? Crystal bow. Just my luck. Okay. Anvil. I'm just kind of looking at everything. What's the anvil for? Blacksmith didn't need it. I haven't seen him around for a while. Is that it? Or am I supposed to go around? Oh, I don't know. We didn't look at this one actually. Ah. Uh. Ha ha ha! Gotcha. I thought you said you'd never take something like this. You little uh, fuck. Uh, what? You're a lying piece of shit, Jack. Oh, okay, come on, Bigby. That was it. The axe was right here all along. Now tell me what happened to it. I don't know anything about that. I don't really. I mean, I don't work every day, so. Come here, boy. I'm tired of this. What happened to the axe? Okay, okay. Fucking jeez, take it easy. It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. Um, I had no goddamn idea. Why'd she take it? Just to fuck with me? You think I'm crazy enough to ask her that? I'm not sticking my foot in that lawnmower, thank you. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. Mm. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just you gonna... my fucking system. But you... you're the guy who makes sure I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn <laughs> it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grant said that he saw it. Hiya, me. fellas. Hiya, fellas. Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Bigby? What is his ex even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? Happy? I got shit to do, so whatever you're here for, make it snap. Touch me again, boy. Uh, he wanted to know where... Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. Oh, is that right? If I were you, I'd watch my tone about now. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? 
Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Big Beast joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for wayward fucking creatures? He's already passed his first class. You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer been chasing him for fucking days, right? What the- I'm gonna end it here, boys. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you for more good old Wolf Among Us next time. Stop some guys, have a great day. See you all again in the next one.